Uh, so welcome back guys this is your boy nick from 3d guru anime 3d animation guru so uh on the my first video of unreal agent tutorial i showed you how you can uh download the unreal agent how you can install the unreal agent and on this video we say that we are now going to start to see how the unreal agent look like and the things you need to know before you get started by unreal agent so let's go so when you download the unreal agent i want to show you something you have two things the first thing is that you get this icon. So let me just cancel this one. The icon, this is the Unreal Agent icon here. And the second thing is if you just open the Epic Game Launcher, you have this one here, Launch. And also you have the Agent version, like you have Agent uh, 4.25 uh, um, and 4.26. So if you want to use this button like to click and then you open your Unreal Agent, I will advise you come here you see like now they're showing me the three of them so I can just cancel this one and if I open this one again you see that they're on it too so what I do is that you have to set the one that you need to be launching every time you open the Unreal Agent because if you have two versions you cannot open them at the same time you can either open one of them so like for me I've set it that I want to use the Unreal Agent 4.25.4 which I use a lot and the difference is that this one is new and so many material they are not updated for the agent uh unreal agent 4.26 so i'll just show you this one so if i just want to launch i can just click here launch or here or i just come here and just open this one so if i just click this one open it will just take some few seconds and then uh, i can show you what you're going to do so let's just wait for it to open so it just start by loading. So I tell you that the a little agent is loading and just need to give it time. It, it doesn't take long. So now your Unreal agent is uh, loaded. On when you when it's open for the first time, you need to create um, a project like you have the, you just create some project. So what can you do with Unreal Agent? Unreal Agent is mainly purpose is made for game uh, development or game making. The 3D game like the one used in the Xbox on the PS5 or whatever. So but Unreal Agent can also do so many other work. So before I start making a project, I would just first of all like to show you the things that you can do with Unreal Agent. So if your main purpose is to make games, so you can just click here and then just say next. And now you can just come here and choose the kind of game you want to start making. So just choose like so many people. I don't make game using Unreal Agent. So uh, so many people use the third person and also they use like you can just use the first person so you can just click next and then you just need to click the project so if you don't want to make the games well, what i do is that i just go back and now you have this other part here like you have the film television and live events so if you just want to make a film or a television like the using the virtual reality and what a virtual production workflow you just need this i don't need the game one just need to click film television and live events so if you just click next i'm just going because this is one that you're going to use on our project a lot this is the one that you're going to use so what you're just going to do with that we i can just show you some other things so you can also if you want to do some architectural things engineering or construction things a little agent gives you this possibility like you can do some engineering you can also do some construction like I've never used that one, so I'm not going to go deep inside that one. If you have a question, you can, um, I can just do a video about it, but I don't use it. So uh, the other thing that you can just use for the Unreal Agent is the automotive, product design, and manufacturing. So those are the things. So the thing is just need to do is just go to the next, then it just give you those one things, and then you can just choose the one that you want. And for me, I'll just show you an example with this one here so an example i just click film television and live events i say next i just only choose brank you can if you familiar i would first of all advise you to use the brank one and i show the reason if you you can just use the virtual production we have never used 
all end display. So the blank one has the camera and you have this feed. So just say next. And on this point, you have two things. You have no start contact. I just leave it the same it is and lay tracing disabled. So if you have a very good graphic card, you can enable lay tracing. If a graphic card is not so good, just leave it lay tracing disabled. So what you just do, come here, I just I do click here and if you want to save your project on a certain things and I can just, for me, I just say my project on the folder I cost to do one. So this one, I'm just going, I, the first thing I'm just going to do is just I'm going to create a folder here and on this folder, I'll call it Unlail Aging or yeah, Unlail Aging, Unlail Aging tutorial so i just save this folder i just press enter and now this is where i'm going to save my project this makes me to be able to be able to find my project when like when i save them i can get them so easy so you just need to click uh that one and this one will appear like here you have the users desktop studio one and little agent tutorial now you need to give your allele agent a name so like for me i can just click here and I just call it Unlail Agent or U A. This is the short form for the Unlail Agent U A for. Uh, if you click the space, that's what I wanted to show you. It will ask your project name may con may not contain a space, so you don't need to make a space. So you can just light shoot one. Or you can just if you just want to make a gap, just click add a score. Uh, shoot one. And then what you just need to say, click project. And it's just going to say this project. What it does is just it's going to restart again. And when it's just restarting again, I just want to show something. Every time I ask the Unreal agent, ask memory allocating warning. A resolution of 2048 will be required. 256 MB of video memory. So this is a vid, uh, graphic card. A PR reflection capture comment. Are you sure? Yeah, I this is for me is yes. So I just say yes. I just yeah, I just want to open like this one. So the thing is that if you're using a engine for the first time, it not be so fast to open it like the one that is opening. Because for me, I have been using it so the all the the files they are being compared together. So if you're using it for the first time, you will find that it's just taking time to open. Now you have now, I have now shown you how you can start like if you just want to make a film or you want to make game, what you need to do. And I, I'm not going to go any other further for this tutorial because what I'm just going to do is that on the next one, I'm now going to show you things you need to know for the Unreal Agent. Like when you open Unreal Agent for the first time, what you expect, what you see and how you are going to start making your first cinematic film using the unreal agent so thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment thank you and goodbye for now